Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In uh, my previous videos related to amplitude modulation, I have discussed about the generation and uh, demodulation or extraction of double sideband suppressed carrier signal or DSP SC signal. So, in today's video, we will be discussing about the generation of double sideband full carrier amplitude modulated signal. Now, in double sideband full carrier signal, the only thing which is different from double sideband amplitude, uh, double sideband suppressed carrier signal, the carrier signal is not suppressed. It is transmitted along with the lower and upper sidebands. Whereas in double sideband suppressed carrier, the carrier signal is suppressed, it is attenuated, it is blocked and only the lower and upper sidebands are passed. Whereas in double sideband full carrier, the carrier signal is transmitted along with the lower and upper sidebands. So, here we will be discussing about the commonly used methods for generation of a double sideband full carrier signal. So, the most commonly used methods for generation of DSP FC signal are the square low uh, modulator and the switching amplitude modulation modulator. Okay, so there are two main methods used for generation of a double sideband full carrier signal. One of them is the square law modulator and the other one is the switching AM modulator or amplitude modulation modulator. So, we will be discussing them uh, one by one separately. In uh, today's video, we will be discussing about the square law modulator and we will be discussing about switching AM modulator in a separate video. Okay, so let us uh, understand the generation of a double sideband full carrier signal using square law modulator. The square law modulator method involves the following things. First, this is the uh, block diagram for a square law modulator. So, first we need the message signal which contains the data and information then we need the high frequency carrier signal both of them are fed to the adder block the output of the adder is fed to a nonlinear device which can be a diode or a transistor in this case we have used a diode the output of the nonlinear device is fed to a band pass filter to suppress the unnecessary frequency components so that only the carrier frequency or the carrier signal and the lower and upper side bands are transmitted. So, I recommend that you draw this diagram in rough or take a screenshot of it so that when we discuss about the mathematical description part it will be easier for you to understand. So, please draw, the, draw this diagram in rough or get a screenshot of ok. So, here is the mathematical analysis of the square law modulator. So, please refer to the block diagram which you have drawn or the screenshot of it. Now, the output of the adder to which the message signal MT and the carrier signal CT are fed is given by MT plus EC cos omega CT. MT is the message signal, this is the carrier signal. Now, as we have discussed in other uh, amplitude modulation videos, normally the input output relationship of the nonlinear device is given by this relationship y is equal to ax plus bx square where x is the input and y is the output a and b are constants related to the diode depending upon the type of diode 
or the transistor which is used. Now, so the output of the nonlinear device to which the output of the adder is fed, this is fed, is given by A x, this x mt plus ec cos omega ct plus b x square mt plus ec cos omega ct whole square. So, when we expand this uh, equation, we get the following terms a m t plus a e c cos omega c t plus b m t square plus e c cos omega c t whole, whole square plus 2 m t e c cos omega c t a plus b whole square formula which is put a square plus b square plus 2 a b ok. Then again we expand this a m t plus a e c cos omega c t plus b m t square b e c cos omega c t whole square plus 2 b m t e c cos omega c t. Again, we simplify it a e m cos omega m t, we have substituted m t with e m cos omega m t, okay, plus a e c cos omega c t, plus b e m cos omega t whole square, plus b e c cos omega c t whole square, plus 2 b e m e c cos omega m t cos omega c t. Okay, here we have substituted m t with e m cos omega m t, the only thing which we have done. Now, in this uh, simplification step, we have applied this formula, okay, cos square A is equal to 1 plus cos 2 A by 2, where we have put it is A E M cos omega M T A E C cos omega T remained as it is, this part, B E M square cos square omega M T, okay, cos square omega M T this, so here we have replaced it with 1 plus cos 2 omega M T by 2. Okay, we have put this trigonometric identity here. Again, here also cos square omega ct, b e c square, it goes outside because it is constant. We have put this identity and it becomes b e c square by 2 1 plus cos 2 omega ct. Then here we have put 2 cos a into cos b, which we will be putting in the uh, next and uh, the further steps, which will become 2 b e m e c by 2 2 cos omega m t cos omega ct. So, I recommend you, you pause this video and note down these steps and go over them, uh, have a quick look so that you understand them in a better way. So, please pause the video and note down these steps and, uh, and try to understand it in a better way, okay. Next, in the next uh, simplification step, we have a e m cos omega m t plus a e c cos omega c t plus b by 2 e m square plus b by 2 e m square cos 2 omega m t plus b by 2 e c square b plus b by 2 e c square cos 2 omega c t plus b e c e m cos omega c minus omega m t plus cos omega c plus omega m t. We have put this identity 2 cos a into cos b is equal to cos a minus b plus cos a plus b. Here a is equal to omega c t and b is equal to omega m t. Okay. So, now this is the output of the non-linear diode. Okay. This is the output of the non-linear diode, which is fed to the band pass filter. So, we need the carrier signal component and the lower and the upper side band. So, for that we choose the pass band frequency of the band pass filter from omega c minus omega m to omega c plus omega m, ok. Any frequency component within this range will be passed, anything lower or above it will be attenuated or blocked. So, when the output of the nonlinear diode is passed through the band pass filter, the output which we get is a e c cos omega c t which is the carrier signal plus b e c e m cos omega c minus omega m t plus cos omega c plus omega m t. All the other frequency components will be blocked, okay. All the other frequency components will be blocked because they do not fall in this range. They are either lower or higher than. So, we get the required double side band full carrier signal. 
which consists of the carrier signal, the lower sideband and the upper sideband. So this is the generation of a double sideband full carrier signal using a square law modulator. Okay. So in my upcoming video, I will be discussing about the switching AM modulator for generation of a double sideband full carrier signal. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics communication and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.